Oh, yeah. right, what, what'd you say to me? Let's go. <laughs> Look at how his body moves. These are all small things he's doing. He shoulder checked him, but the dude flew back. He does a roll onto the table to then do this like downward strike on him. Those are yeah. wait, that's totally. Yeah. That's not the guy! That's a stunned man! That's not a white man! Stunts in plain sight, we didn't even know. This, from 1978, is better than most action today because they're telling a story. A portion of this video is sponsored by G Fuel. More about them later. The last episode ended with the City Hunter ridiculous Street Fighter video game scene. We're picking up with the ending of City Hunter, which is probably one of the funniest fight scenes I've ever seen in my life. Have you, I forget, have you seen, seen City? It. Okay, this is, have you seen City Hunter? We just earned that when I was. Okay, I've forgotten, I'm sorry, it's been five minutes. I have the memory of a goldfish. Who are you? Who am I? <laughs> I really think you're gonna like this fight. This fight is so great. <laughs> He's like, ha, <laughs> that did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we don't get enough of in action. It's just so ridiculous and silly. Also, can you guys tell that that's like a totally foam table? Which is great, because they know they're gonna film like a whole fight on it. They make this big prop table, you can see how much it bends there, and then you can have a great, great scene there. <laughs> <laughs> that is just like, oh, the shin block. <laughs> Yo, that's incredible. What an amazing moment. <laughs> He's so lovable. <laughs> this man was a free runner before anybody else was. He did a flash kick onto stairs. That's ridiculous. That's when you're making action, usually you think of, okay, there's a person in front of me, what am I gonna do? Well, I'm gonna take my thing and they're right in front of me, so I'm just gonna swing at them. But Jackie takes every moment and he tries to be as creative as possible. Like even Jackie getting off this table here, rather than just turning and getting off the table, he does like this weird roll, back roll thing. And the guy who goes to attack him doesn't just attack him, he does a roll onto the table to then do this like downward strike on him. Those are, th wait, that's totally. <laughs> That's not the guy! That's a stunned man! That's not a white man! <laughs> Got you! Got you! Accidentally. Oh my god, that's hilarious! See, stunts in plain sight, we didn't even know. Those are things that they didn't need to do. That's not necessary for the fight scene, but it makes it more fun, it makes it more exciting, and makes it more enjoyable for an audience to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Both these guys can dance really well. I want to see you guys do a dance fight like this. <laughs> okay, come on, pop it. Let's see it. Come on, do something right now. Do it. Hey, hey. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's so great. <laughs> And now it's where they take one sound effect and they repeat it 1,000 times. <laughs> it's just wailing on him. <laughs> the voice actor for this is not Jackie Chan and he sounds hilarious. It's just so silly. It's so ridiculous. We love it for that. Yeah, it's just something new at the time. You know, it's just, it's completely original. People not knowing this movie won't know that like this guy's a super big villain. Like he's got a bomb, he's gonna blow the place up, he's gonna kill a lot of people. It's a very intense situation. But they forget about that in this moment in order to provide incredibly entertaining action. I personally love it. It's great. That's how we get gold. Yeah, it serves a purpose for the, the story that they're trying to tell and the way that they're trying to tell it. But it is, it's remarkable because you know, you're not used to seeing that, especially when it's awesome and funny. Because mm. normally something's funny and it's like not so awesome and it just takes you completely out. But it's like, oh no, we're gonna make this fantastical. Yeah. And it's not gonna make any sense. Right, <laughs> right. And it's still part of the story. <laughs> <laughs> just at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so entertaining. Like that's it at the end of the day. We work in the entertainment industry. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he wait five minutes to do that? <laughs> this is a sick stunt. Before we go on any further, well, first, welcome to my kitchen. 
Technically, I'm renting it, but you get the point. Before we go on, I want to talk about today's video sponsor, which is G Fuel, because if it's not obvious, I like to do a lot of different things in my life. I run this YouTube channel, for instance. I'm currently training for, oh, nice and cold. I'm currently training for my next World Chase Tag parkour competition, and I'm also a working stuntman here in Los Angeles. All of these things take a ton of time and energy and focus to pull off, but some days it's just not there and I'm unable to focus, and then I can't get the things done that I need to get done. But since I started partnering with G Fuel, Since I started partnering with G Fuel, I have really felt a significant increase in my focus and my ability to get things done. While G Fuel is indeed delicious, you are probably looking for something more than just a delicious drink. You are looking for something like what G Fuel has to offer you, which is the energy and the focus to be able to tackle and accomplish great things in your own life. And for me personally, they're doing that. G Fuel is helping me get just a little bit more done each day. So if you are curious about G Fuel and if they can help you get more done in your day, you can click the link in the description, use my promo code OMARZACKI to get 10% off of your order. It's great, every time. Thank you G Fuel for supporting and partnering with me and helping me do more of what I love. Back to the reaction. That's nice. dope. Ow. The silly ridiculous stuff in this fight that people are like, why? It's okay because they've already established that line of humor and parody. So you let the things that are like, oh, he's just doing the gymnastics thing, he's just holding out like this. And they're like, why would you ever do that? Here's the thing is that you can't do one without the other. If you're gonna do crazy action stuff, well, you need to be in that setting of why are they doing that? You can't just do random things now. Like be consistent be with, consistent. yeah, be consistent with your action and your storytelling. He does this double wrap. You can actually see the wrap on his hips right now. Oh, right, right, right. He's actually just got it wrapped on top of his clothes so that when he does the thing, he can get pulled into like a double B twist. They cut out of it before he goes too out of control. Right. Yeah. That's safe. Gorgeous. That was great. Oh, that he, see that pike that he hit? That was such a dope pike. He folded like, yeah. like look at that. Yeah. Full on toe touch. Uh, that brings me back to Power Rangers. Yes, it does. Yeah, you're a great fall. That you did hit in that exact same position. One, two, three. And big finale. Oh no. Don't you miss practical explosions? Right. Like you can tell in an in instant, this is real. I love the look up and the realization to camera though. Okay, now we're moving on to Drunken Master. This is one of Jackie Chan's first films because it's, I mean, what, this is 45 years old? Holy That's crap. That's crazy. Holy crap. Do you know that teacher? What? Come to you can see how much slower it is. <laughs> of course, I like slow. it though. Right. He's it gives doing, it... Yeah, his item shuffle, early on item shuffle stuff. <laughs> and it's very segmented. It's like one move, another move, another move. Dome, dome, dome. They're making shapes. It's very similar to dance choreography. The evolution of it as well has evolved like dance, I feel, because a lot of times you people are doing stuff on eight counts, you know. Five, six, seven, eight, and it's just we do a move on the beat. We've started to dance in those between. Change the rhythm now up. It's, now it's one and two and three and four. But action is starting to do that as well. Instead of just like move, now it's boom, 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 boom. You know, it's but don't, don't, but don't, don't, don't. Right? Yeah, the rhythm is huge. The rhythm is is everything. So, <laughs> right. He points to the ground, and the dude looks. <laughs> So you can already yeah. see the making of like what his style would would become. It's very showy. It's all about the moments. Even this from 1978 is better than most action today because they're telling a story. Here, fight this. 
There's a dynamic going on between these two characters. Everybody knows that storytelling is everything. Even something as simple and as slow as this is easier to follow because there is a story that they're telling with their bodies and their movement. Yeah, and the fight's progressing, you know, it's turning from one thing to a completely different thing. You know, they have an intro section where they're fighting and then he takes a drink and then now there's that separation, right, there's a right. moment and now he's a little more and now there's other things involved in the fight and it just keeps layering like that every single time. Yeah, that was sick. That, that was sick. Like, that was dope. How it went from the whole that whole first phrase of the fight to this whole sequence. Yeah, it's evolving. It's leveling up. It's evolving. He is definitely a, a tough act to follow. Yeah, even for himself. He's probably like, man, my last fight scene was so good. How do I top that? But it's like the blueprint generally stays the same. Like he's using the environment. It's always like leveling up. It progresses in the story. So it feels like you're developing as you're watching it in the story. So now this is Drunken Master, which they, in 1994, which is the year that I was born, this is 16 years after the movie that we just watched. And now we get to see what his style became in those 16 years. I love the keep away with the bottle. So sick. He's just drinking way more than you can possibly consume. Like 90% of it is just going onto his chest. Because alcohol just affects you like that. In yeah. Instantly, right. When you drink it like that, I think it, it's probably- Yeah, have you ever just chance. shot a whole bottle of tequila? Let's go try. It's so fast. It's so fast. But the moments, they never forget the moments. Look at how his body moves. These are all small things he's doing sometimes with these guys with elbows, but his shoulder and his torso is moving so much and it makes you look like, oh, he's really thumping him. Like he shoulder checked him, but the dude flew back. Here is the very last bottle. Uh, uh, <laughs> he threw the cork at him. I didn't even realize that before. <laughs> <laughs> good, good filler, right? It gives him an excuse to be like, ah, and then here's the bottle. My favorite part of this fight coming up. You get up! Oh, what the <laughs> so so slick. Definitely so slick. wire assisted, but but it looked really smooth the way they did it. Amazing storytelling. What does it mean when there's a picture of a skull? Oh. Good stuff. Good stuff. Whoa, whoa. I love it. I love it. Is he on something right now? Yeah, totally. Okay, right, totally I'm like, right, yeah. I'm like, wait He's a doing second. some Michael Jackson yeah. physics, dude. He's just... I don't know when I would have perceived that the way he's balancing, there is wire assistance right now. These really, really subtle things that most people don't notice, but you just get the feeling of this off balancedness, like a little bit of this superhero. Growing um, up, he's a superhero to me, absolutely. Yeah. It's just like those subtle stunt tricks that they're doing to just elevate those moments just a little bit. And it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to put him on a wire to get him 5% leaning more forward than he would be able to do on his own. But that little extra effort is what creates this moment that we're now talking about it's like just subtle enough to make it it looks natural right it's not the super fake he's creating you're like wait a second like when you're really inspecting it you're like absolutely not it's not possible but like you said it's a lot of work just for those tiny up. those tiny little it's, moments yeah. always going above and beyond too. <laughs> So slick, come on, come on. All right, I'm sorry, I gotta break that. What the heck, that was so much spinning. So we did like a half turn, full 360, into a knee 360, into a 360 the other way. Come on, that's so slick. Yeah, torpedo headbutt. Boom, 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 boom. Bam. That's dope. Ooh, that was violent. That was nice. He like ripped him down to the ground. That would normally be his jugular. Just like. <laughs> Come on. It's just so creative. He's just like, I'm just gonna spin and do things and people are gonna run at me and then they're gonna get hit. The tie catch. And then he's got the tie. The dude fell right on his hip.
Yeah, it's like there's always a tangible change to his fight. He's like, okay, you're gonna come and fight me and I'm gonna end up with a piece of your clothing rather than I'm just gonna knock you out. I have physically changed my opponent and I have physically benefited from this interaction that we've just had. <laughs> I like a little shuffle with the shot of the legs. Oh, very nice. Here's something that I just noticed. So what we don't see a lot of in modern day action is intentional misses or fakes. Mm. We have this incredible choreography sequence where every hit, every punch, every dodge is perfectly choreographed to the point that the fight goes, doom, 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 doom. It just goes. But Jackie's playing with this guy. He does snake eyes at him and the guy has to back up. Then he does it again. Those are choreographed misses. Now feints are a very important aspect of, of fighting. Like if you're sparring or if you're actually fighting someone, you, you know, you're never just going to land an attack on a person who can move well. You have have to set them up you have to throw something make them think that you're doing something else and then right the strategy behind it the mind games not just the punches and the kicks and so he just brings that to life <laughs> Ooh, that had to be that's good. that's a yeah. gooch gooch yeah. <laughs> but getting all the way around to that point like like that was good a really hard pull good. with ah! snake eyes ah! <laughs> what? He just turns around what? like he just flexes at the guy. Like, just, like, Josie, come on. just, I don't care. I'm <laughs> wasted right now. Like, what, what'd you say to me? Let's go. <laughs> I love it. I was gonna let you hit me. That was so wicked. Because it fills that space too. It's just like, it's a really cool flip sequence I can do. And the guy's like, yikes, I don't want to get hit with that. Signature, Ooh. bam, 540 hook. Come back. Oh, wow. Jackie Chan. Y'all wanted wow. Jackie Chan. I'm so glad that we just discovered this guy. I can't believe I've never heard it's of him amazing. before. Thank you so much for introducing us to Jackie Chan, guys. I don't know how we have noticed this guy. They really flew under the radar for those 50 years. Yeah, he seems I, I, I look forward to see what he does in the future. <laughs> <laughs> but in reality, he's incredible. He has obviously inspired all three of us in such a tremendous way and pretty much probably everybody that is in the stunt community. He is the master, Everyone we know, all of, the master <laughs> of action comedy. This has been so awesome though. I'm still teaching us so much about it even though we've watched him for so long. If you like this video and you love to learn more about stunts and action and everything, then like, subscribe. We've done our own Jackie Chan fights, we've done Shang-Chi fights, we've done Star Wars fights. If you wanna see how we perform and how we do to make sure we're not just talk, you know, and you can check out those videos. And until then, we'll see you later.